Hey guys, welcome back to How's It Doing Garage. And today marks the start of our Ed the Bird build. So we're here at Custom Coders Atlanta. We're gonna pick up some super special wheels for the old bird build. And um, you know, it's fitting that we drive the burb over here to get the wheels for the burb. So for the burb, we've decided to hit up our good friends at Detroit Steel Wheel for a nice set of Delrays for this. So we kind of went with the off the wall color, uh, a little different than what you normally would see. We went with a matte gray. Now this is just a, a metallic gray finish. And then uh, Scott and his, and his buddies decided to go over top of it with a matte clear. So this is a 20 by 11 Delray, eight lug, cause you know, we got K20 Suburban with a four and a half inch backspace on all four wheels. So this wheel, as you can tell in the sunlight, it's just a shade darker gray than what normally would have came on a rally wheel, but it's gonna look super killer up against the, the tire for this truck. So we're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna have our buddy Noah mount up our tires and uh, and yeah, continue on with the build for the bird. So. All right, guys, so we're back from Custom Coders Atlanta. Again, thanks, Scott and the crew, for doing such a smashing job on these wheels. I mean, these things look phenomenal. I'm super excited. The color choice and everything. It's a uh, gray, uh, metallic gray powder coat with a matte clear coat over top. And I just, I think the wheel color it's just really going to look good on the burb. I didn't want to go, like the reason for the gray color, I didn't want to go traditional silver, you know. That's what the wheels that would have came on it were silver, you know. I didn't really want to go silver, so, but I wanted to keep it kind of like a darker-ish color. I didn't want to go black, so I just wanted to do it a little different. So I needed to go with a color that didn't look like I screwed up trying to match the gray, but I got far enough away from the gray where it still looked good, but it wasn't black. So, or this far enough away from the silver to where it wasn't black, but it didn't look like I screwed up the color. And I think, I think it looks really good. So, um, I guess the next question you're going to ask is what tires are you going to put on there? So for the tires, we went to our buddies at Continental Tire, uh, and we got a set of General Grabber ATs in a 37-13-520. And this is what we're going to run on the burb. So I didn't want to go like super aggressive tread. But I wanted a tire that had enough tread on it to where if we did get in a hairy situation, you know, we could unclog it with some RPM and get out of there uh, without too much hassle. But then when we're on the open road, the tire's not, you know, humming you know, trying to put us to sleep. So I think these tires are going to look great. I think they're going to perform well. They're going to last for a good while. And they're really going to look really good once you get it on the wheel, you know. So the wheel is going to be just light enough where you don't lose it in the tire, and it, but it's going to be just dark enough to where it, it's, it's not like a factory, you know, everyday type of a color. So I think it's going to look really, really well. As always, my buddy Noah Dean from Midtown Tire, he's going to swing in here sometime this week, and he's going to snatch these dudes up. He's going to go get me mounted and balanced up. I always trust some dudes over Midtown Tire and Marietta. Great dudes. Noah's a great guy. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to get these mounted up, get them uh, balanced and all that, and then we're going to start doing the lift on the burb. So, um this is just one more piece of the puzzle and uh it's finally here so now we're really going to start rocking and rolling on the old bird project
All right. So we're back. We got the tires mounted. We had some technical difficulties with the footage, but they're mounted. No mid-tone tire hooked us up. So if you're ever in Marietta, Georgia area, you need some tires fixed, mounted, balanced, whatever. You need some new rubbers on your hot rods. Mid-tone tire, go talk to my dude Noah Dean. So here's what we're working with. Again, the old General Grabber AT 37 by 13.5 by 20. The Detroit Steel Delray 20 by 11. The four and a half inch backspace. I mean, man, look at that. This is going to be a gnarly truck. So, I figured out what I'm going to do for center caps. So, I've never like, I don't really like factory dog dishes or whatever. It's going to be whatever. But, so what I'm going to do is we're running a dually center cap so this center cap will come on like a, I think like a 2002 to 2008 Chevy dually rear so I like the look of this I mean the cap isn't sticking out too far it's nice and rounded and squared I am gonna get cut the center out of two of them for the lockout for the front but I enjoy that look. I haven't found hardly any center caps that look good with these wheels. Like, look good to me anyway. That's something I would run. These, I think, are are my best, my best option yet. So, I've got the lug nuts. They make the 9 16 18 uh, internal uh, thread pitch with the metric external thread for the caps so they're actually already on the blazer which they make them lug nuts i guess so people could put late model wheels on old stuff so the 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 suburban already has those lug nuts so the cap's gonna screw right on there so a set of those lug nuts cost like 70 bucks i've already got them so boom these caps are expensive by the way they're a hundred dollars a piece so i need two more these actually came off my dually, so, <laughs> yeah. But I was looking at them. I was like, oh, man, these would look kind of cool. So I was like, I've got two for a dually, and then I actually have one cap that I found on the side of the road, and then I'm a hoarder, so I just kind of hung on to it because, you know, that's what hoarders do. But this is a three-quarter ton cap, and if you look, like this is, this doesn't stick out too far. It looks pretty good. But if we go with the three quarter ton cap, it's even shallower. But part of the issue we have with this now is the front hub, we're, we would have to cut it out, eat, cut the, the center cap out even more to clear the, the front hub. And I really didn't, didn't really like it. So I kind of like the dually. So we will only have to cut the center out of the front two camps and I think it'll look pretty good so yeah short of me having some custom one-off caps made by somebody and you know having them fling off down the road and waste hundreds of dollars I think this is gonna work out just fine so I guess next what we're gonna need to do is actually get the Suburban in here start BDS in it up in the air and get these wheels and tires on it so stay tuned we're gonna start working on that and uh really start hammering out this build 